flat surface. So any radiation coming from this one will never fall on a flat surface. So if this body is 1, then the shape factor equals to 0. If you have a body of this shape and is emitting radiation and let us say this is a point source, all the light which is coming from this source will never fall on this one. Suppose this one is body number 1, then F11 is also equals to 0. But if we have a body like this, then the radiation coming from this point may fall on itself, may fall on itself. So for this case, F11 is not equals to 0. The second rule is that if we have two body taking place, then we have a summation rule of F11 plus F12 is equals to 1. Second rule you can apply from body number 2 to body number 2, 2 is also equals to 1. The reciprocity rule says that A1, F12 is always equals to A2, F2, 1. Correct. So, if we have two bodies, that is body number 1 is the plane and body number 2 is also plane. So, is for this body F11 equals to what? 0. F22 is also equals to what? 0 because this is the flat plate. Then using equation number 1 is F12 is equals to 1. Using equation 2 is it F21 equals to 1. Let us consider a cylinder case. The This surface is insulated. This one is surface 2. This is insulated. Cylinder has a length equals to L. A1 equals to pi r 2 pi r1 and pi a2 equals to 2 pi r2 l. This cylinder is same as this body, so is f11 is 0. And by rule number 1, f12 is equals to 1 because 1 1 is 0. To find out the other factor, we will use the reciprocity rule. A1, a1 is 2 pi r1 l. 2 pi r1 l into f12, f12 is 1 is equals to 2 pi into r2 l into f21. So, 2 is cancelled, pi is cancelled, l is cancelled. So, is f21 is r1 by r2. Now, we use this rule and from this we can calculate 2 2 is equals to 1 minus f21 is R1 by R2. If we model these two are sphere, then what is A1? A1 is 4 pi R square, R2 square. Still equal to 0 because this surface radiation will never fall on the surface one. So, by rule number, by this rule is F12 is equals to 1. Next, we apply a reciprocal rule. Reciprocal rule is 4 pi r1 square into f12. f12 is 1 is equals to 4 pi r2 square into f21. So, again we get f21 equals to r1 by r2 whole square and then we apply this rule which is f21. So, we can calculate for F22 is 1 minus F21 is R1 by R2 whole square. So, these are the quick calculation for shape factors. Now, both bodies are transmitting the heat. So, this body will first offer the surface resistance. This body will also offer surface resistance. The body which is at higher temperature is modeled as body number 1 at temperature equals to T1. Body number 2 is at low temperature, having emissivity equals to what? Epsilon 2, having emissivity equals to what? Epsilon 1, area equals to A1, area equals to A2. The surface resistance is given by 1 minus Epsilon 1 upon Epsilon 1 A1. Similar to this, the surface resistance is given by 1 minus Epsilon 2 upon epsilon to A2. In between this, we have a space resistance. The space resistance is basically resistance obtained by view factor. 
is 1 upon a1 f12 you can very well write this as a2 f21 because a1 f12 is same as a2 f21 the net heat transferred from this surface 1 to 2 is q12 is given by the emissive power of this body that is sigma into t1 to the power 4 minus emissive power of this body is sigma into t2 to the power 4 the body are modeled as black body because this one is the surface resistance will take care of it the body is gray body or body is black body if it is a black body the resistance becomes zero if it is a gray body then only the surface resistance will exist and in denominator we have to write down this resistance equals to r1 the second resistance equals to r2 and the third resistance equals to r3 independently find out all this value and solve this in the very special case we have body number one and is enclosed in a very large body so this one is a small body and this one is atmosphere so in this case is a2 is very very greater than a1 so under to solve this problem we have to substitute a2 by a1 equal to what zero so if you substitute here this value what you get is q12 equals to sigma t1 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 and i will have to add this but i take out a1 common so my a1 in numerator so first term is 1 upon epsilon 1 epsilon 1 by epsilon 1 is minus 1 upon a1 a1 already shifted so this is 1 upon f12 for this case is f12 equal to 1 whole rotation of this body will fall on body number 2 so this one is plus 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 minus epsilon 2 1 upon epsilon 2 upon epsilon 2 and this one is a1 that is the additional term because i shifted in numerator this one is a2 now this term is it infinity anything to the infinity what zero so because of this one this value will be equals to what zero this one is minus one and plus one will cancel out so what is the heat transfer from small body to atmosphere is simply epsilon one multiplied by sigma multiplied by a1 multiplied by t1 to the power four minus t2 to the power 4 this problem will also work if we have body number 1 is like this and body number 2 is like this that is they have definite area then also we can use the same equation but only thing that a2 will not tend to infinity so that value will exist otherwise you have to use the same equation so this is supposed to be the what master equation we can solve all problem based on this a sphere of 10 cm diameter so we have here a sphere of 10 cm diameter inside a large evacuated chamber so large evacuated chamber so it's a very very large body body number two and this one is body number one now this body is very very large so we model a2 equals to what infinity because the area size of that body is not given and the temperature of this one is maintained at 300 kelvin here is maintained at temperature T1 equals to 500 Kelvin to 0.8 as this situation. Is it correct? So we can directly solve this equation as Q12 equals to epsilon 1 into A1 into sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 epsilon 1 is pointed surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square r is 0 0.05 square sigma is 5.67 10 to the power minus 8 right to the power 4 minus the temperature of point number 2 is 300 to the power 4 so the net heat transfer from the sphere to the atmosphere is 77.5 watts